With the Buhari administration still fighting insecurity and corruption in Nigeria, another news broke last week about the Zamfara adoption. Now I've come to the street to ask people um, what's their opinion concerning the consistent adoption in Nigeria and also why have they been delayed in the release of the Kagara boys and the, um, the Kagara boys and also the Zamfara students that were adopted last week. So don't go nowhere. When we come back, we'll be talking to our interviewees. We'll be back. The Zamfara clean. And we have heard that the federal government have said that no flight over Zamfara. Do you think that this uh, adoption, do you think it's long overdue? How do you feel that the government have not been able to rescue these um, children back? Uh, well, according to my, you know, according to my, to my analysis, and the way I understand it is this. Most of the thing that is going out in the most of the thing that is going out in the north today, you know, at the cost of even the northern government. Because these same people, you know, people came out and told you people that you know, okay, this is what they want. Which you know today we are in the civilized world, and people will come and say that Western education is forbidden. That same people that came out and told you that Western education is forbidden is this. They use television, Western education. The same ambition they use, Western education. You understand what I'm saying? Now they show themselves in the media. All this is just Western, Western education, okay? But now these same people came out and tell you that doesn't want Western education. And you, the federal government, each every state in the northern part of the country have senators, have representatives. What are the representatives doing? What are they saying? Nothing. Now, at the end of the day, when anything happens, everybody will blame Nigeria. We are not Nigerians. If we are Nigerians, these people will understand that, you know, these people, these people would have reason to we reason because they don't reason to we reason. You know what I'm saying? Now, these people bring, um, these people bring our, our um, brought a religion into politics and which is not supposed to be any country that must move forward you must take religion out of politics it doesn't matter whether you are yoruba you are Igbo, or you are from south south what we are after is somebody that will make the country move forward that's what we want as nigeria but see they don't want it that way understand they want to they, they want the whole nigeria to just their own too forgotten that nigeria doesn't belong to one person nigeria belongs to the whole nigerians no matter the, no matter where you come from this very country nigeria belongs to one nigeria what is happening there today understand we are not happy but that is what they want, that is what they, that is what they ask for, and they are getting it. The only thing we are praying, they should not take it to other places. Let them face it there, as long as it's what they say they want. Because even as all this thing is going on today, do you know that even the same some northern governors are still supporting them? Some northern governors are still supporting them today. Instead of them to come out and say, no, no, imagine where a governor or a pres you know, some presidency will come out and, say, and negotiate with the bandits. Then what are you doing? You are supporting them, you are giving them going ahead to do what, whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? We have we have security we have security in this very country. We have police. We have army. If all this thing happen out here, you will not see army. They will not see police. But when you go to south and south, west, south, east, you will see army and police. But all this thing that is going there, no, but you cannot see police. You cannot see army there. To tell you that even to tell you that even the government of the north, you know, even the government because they are the, they are the people in power. So the governors of the northern part of the state today support what is support what is happening there. So the only thing I'm always saying to the understand is from Nigeria. To tie their belt well because what is what is happening now this one is just it, 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 what is happening now in nigeria is just a pin of it it's just a pin of it if we don't pray for god for us to stand up now and fight for our right my brother time will come that every nigeria will share tears and i say i don't know and only god in heaven will help us thank you very much sir. all right thank you very much so, added. so now let's quickly go into the business and you have heard that the federal government has banned mining and flights over zamfara and we have also seen that the, the federal government have not been able to rescue these uh, children from the adopters in Zamfara. What's your reaction concerning this? Do you think it's, it's already long overdue? Yeah, it is long overdue and what they are doing is not the right thing. Binding of uh, mindings in Zamfara and flight it never can never stop the security situation in that environment because what about the, the land? And the, the kidnappers, they are not going through here. They are going through land. So I think it's a joke. It's just to tell us they are trying to do anything. They are not doing anything. I don't support that. I don't support that. It's because when the president will come up to the, come today and say something, the following day they will kidnap. So I don't think the not the people in the north they are safe anymore. They are not safe anymore. They are not safe anymore. Okay, now yeah. you you are talking. You are saying something about the food, the food scarcity. And I want you to make uh, more opinions concerning what you said earlier. Uh, it's like the food, the food is like the northern and they are fighting war indirectly with the south now. So if they decide to keep holding their food, they should hold their food. After all, we are eating here. We have other food we are eating here. Then that will give us morale to go into plant uh, uh, plantation, into farming. So they should continue to hold their food over there. That is that is the only thing I have to say. Okay. 
Okay, so you know, what's the way forward for the federal government now concerning this Zamfara adoption? What do you think they can do? Government know the right thing to do. I think many of them are coming out to tell us they know the where the problem is and where who is behind these things. And government know all those people. I think we have DSS, we have every security agent that can go through these things and discover this one and arrest them. But government know them. They are still the same people in the government that bought this gun for these guys. A Fulani man cannot have money to buy for AK-47. So I think the, 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 the truth is that government are behind these things. They used them before to fight Jonathan, to remove Jonathan from seed. But now the thing is affecting them now because those guns cannot be returned. And they are using those guns against themselves over there in the, that place. So I think government know. And to collect those guns from them back is the, the real issue. Now that's why those guys are started kidnapping so that they will make money from government for their demands. So I think that is the only thing. I think I know I, I feel about this. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Yes, sir. So let's go straight to the topic. Um, you've heard about the adoption of uh, the students in Zamfara and also the Kagara adoption in Binwe State. Now, these two adoptions, the government have not been able to bring back those uh, students. Now, what's your reaction? Do you think it's long overdue? Now, why do you think it's a delay concerning the, um, the bringing back of these students? To me, the current administration has failed the people and has failed Nigerians as a whole. Because the, the, administra the administration of Mohamed Buhari came with a mantra of liberating Nigeria from the shackles of insecurity, poverty, and what have you. But now, you've come to realize that the administration is one sided. You understand? It's like a northern dominated administration which has been happening over time for this particular administration it has has broadened it has made it wider than it was so the current insecurity in the country right now is attributed to the bad governance particularly the current administration of president Mohamed Buhar. you understand not has a problem. Problem of education. Problem of religion. And problem of childbearing. A situation whereby you have a man that can that can't even be able to feed himself. You understand? Having two, three wives, even five wives. Eh? Then each, each, one, each one of the wives had or has at least four or five children. Now, calculate within the five wives. So the point is, they are, they are, they are, they are not organized in the north. That is what brought about insecurity, unemployment, poverty is high in the north. You understand? Until we came to deal, until the administration is or the incoming or the present administration came to deal with the situation, the, the system cannot, the, the problem cannot abate. You understand? So the insecurity and the the southern Nigeria felt marginalized. Look at the look at the appointments across board. The appointment of various ministries, various ministries. Name it. The whole system is dominated by the one region, northern Nigeria. So tell me how the system is going to work. Some people feel that they are... Nigeria is a union. You understand? Nigeria is a union. Every part of the system matters. So you cannot feel that you are the Lord over others. You are the Lord over others. Look at this, for instance. For instance, like uh, this... Uh, like this uh, cow rearing. Like cow rearing. We see how it operates overseas, abroad. And all, all, this, all these are leaders, many of them travel abroad and see how they are, and see how they are, the administration, how they operate over there. But reverse is the case here. That's what is called ranches. You keep your animal, you keep your animal somewhere. Then you feed them there. Not, not, you go, take your cows, you know, enter people's farms, 
and destroy everything and, and you expect those people that you destroy their their their, their crops to be happy it's unfortunate so, i don't know so let's let's quickly talk about what's the way forward for nigerians for nigerians and the government a very quick one the way forward is for the system to be restructured nigeria should be restructured you you earn you earn, you earn, you earn from what you what you are producing and pay what and pay some percentage to the center so the Nigeria has to be restructured. It's like a resource control. You control your resources. It's done overseas. You don't abroad. You understand? Until that is done, I don't think the system is going to abet. The current problem is going to abet. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you everyone for watching our program. As you can, you've heard what people have to say concerning what um, the adoption status is all about in Nigeria. My name is Alabri Kayode. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share our video. We are OPC TV Sunday's communication. Bye-bye.